welcome back everyone, Twishes here, and I am back yet again to discuss some brand new reveals that came out of San Diego Comic-Con 2024 via the McFarlane Toys panel. So we do have a lot to discuss, and as a heads up, there was a separate event prior to the panel, it was off-site. That's where I got to see some newer figures, things they didn't talk about here. I do have that video up, so for those of you interested, it's more of a live kind of walkthrough. So go check that out after you see this one. There are a couple that they really didn't talk about, but at least you'll get a little bit more info. And also be sure to check the images on the screen. They'll have dates and whatnot. So this is generally what will be coming out at least until the end of the year, maybe into the beginnings of January 2025. But they certainly have a lot for us to talk about today. Not just DC Multiverse, I will be covering it all, so not to worry. But to set the stage for you, so to speak, we had Brian, we had AJ talking up the crowd, getting everybody riled up, ready to go, because lo and behold, Todd McFarlane came onto the stage, as you know he would. Now, one thing that I want to point out, and it's, this, is, this is patent pending, everyone. I'm creating a new drinking game, and it's it's every time Todd McFarlane says, it's cool, or, oh, that's cool, or it's got to be cool, you have to take a shot. And I guarantee you, you'll be dead within the first five minutes because everything is cool to this guy. And I know. I say that too, but it's just, I don't know why it's funnier when he does that, but he's very passionate about DC Multiverse, whether or not he really knows these characters, it kind of remains to be seen, but we do know that he knows about all the drawings and all the comic book illustrations, covers and whatnot that he did. So rest assured, if there's ever any type of problem there. No, he knows when he drew Wolverine and the Incredible Hulk because these are part of the new 1-6 scale posed PVC statues. And I like that name. I think that that's great. Instead of calling it figures or something like that, like posed PVC statues. That's what it is. There's no articulation to these things. That's how licensing and everything else goes. But regardless, we have Wolverine from the Incredible Hulk number 340 and the Incredible Hulk from number 345. These are quite cool. I would like to see these more in hand one of these days. I have yet to, well, let's say this. I have yet to see them on store shelves. I saw them plenty this weekend and they do look good. The texturing on that Wolverine, the, the first wave one is like, eh, it's a little weird. This one looks to be a, a better representation of bringing that comic book feel. And I like it. I like the way that the Hulk is sculpted, splitting out the letters that makes up his name. That's just really interesting. All the craggy skin of which Todd McFarlane did say that he was thinking about an elephant when he drew the Hulk. And it, you can clearly see that. So for that alone, that's pretty darn cool. And I love the fact that within the blades of this Wolverine, you can clearly see the Hulk's image. So again, that's a nice touch. These will be coming fall 2024. There will most likely be variants of some sort. There is also going to be a brand new lineup also coming fall 2024, which is part of the Platinum Edition line. So yeah, get ready for that. This is the one-tenth scale posed PVC statues, and I think that's a great lineup of characters. For instance, we have the Green Goblin from Amazing Spider-Man number 312. We also then have the Amazing Spider-Man number 68, Magneto. It just looks pretty darn cool overall. Captain America, Miles Morales, my favorite being... Venom. I love the way that that Venom looks. That's the Venom. He doesn't have feet. He has little booties and he's largely all black. That's that's the classic type Venom that I supremely admire. I, I really like the way that that looks and it kind of gets lost in translation now when Marvel Legends does it. It's always a different looking Venom. Marvel Select does it differently. Yeah, it's just like I just like classic Venom. That's the one and I believe that the new Walmart's exclusive 
kind of emphasizes that a lot more. It remains to be seen in hand. I'll kind of make final judgments. But yeah, if you want any of these, they're coming soon. This will be fall 2024. Moving on, they did Movie Maniacs, specifically Rocky. Now, these are kind of basically the same as the Marvel PVC statues. There's Clubber Lang, Rocky Balboa, Ivan Drago, and Rocky Balboa from Rocky IV. So a nice selection of Rocky if you collect these all, in all honesty, let me know down in the comments below. Do you collect these? I'm interested to know what you guys think because this is definitely not my thing. Now, most of the movie maniacs, not my thing. It remains to be seen with the Marvel stuff to kind of see it in the store. Maybe, oh, okay, maybe I'll get this one and that one. But it, it's just kind of up in the air. I, I collect enough. You know, it's just uh, it's one of those things. Beetlejuice will also be getting some movie maniacs representation. Six inch scale, of course, it's not going to move. Product renders, not final. That's whole situation. And this will be from Beetlejuice, Beetlejuice. So there will be some more to show that's kind of under embargo and such like that. But so far, we have Beetlejuice. At least you know that he's a coming if you're interested in that. Moving on to Music Maniacs, they revealed two new new figures, Freddie Mercury and Slash. If you're not familiar, these figures are basically done how they do the Batman 66, so there is minimal articulation, more of that kind of retro style, which I like for the Batman 66, so if you are a fan of Freddie or Slash, you can definitely pick these up, and these will be coming really any time now. This is summer 2024, so maybe around August, maybe towards the tail end into September. And then they have the UFC, right? So McFarlane Sports Picks, six-inch posed figures. These will be out for the fall. Again, much like Rocky, you can let me know down in the comments what you think of these. This is not my thing. I enjoy UFC when there's a fight on, but I really couldn't tell you much about any particular uh, person. It's just, I don't go that far. So there will be a number of UFC fighters to grab. Todd was up on stage. He pulled the packaging out. I did see it at the McFarland event. I think it's pretty unique. It kind of reminds me of those old fish tank figures of when they put spawn in those glass kind of... Uh, Almost, I want to say octagonal kind of buckets, but not quite. It was more like a fish tank kind of uh, dealio back in the 90s, but it's cool. I think if you're a uh, UFC fan, this might be right up your alley, much like he does with the sports figures. They briefly went over the world of Warcraft. So again, six-inch customizable posed figures. You have Pandarin. <laughs> Clever. I see what you did there. And then you have the Dwarf Hunter slash beast master i don't know anything of what i'm saying right now when it comes to world of warcraft but you get the idea next up they had bleach thousand year blood war they showed off ichigo and you watch again much like world of warcraft no idea what i'm saying but for those of you out there who love anime maybe you love bleach McFarlane has you covered. And yes, the pre-orders are up now, which I will tell you, for those of you interested, if applicable at this time, I will put pre-order links for any of these figures if they're available down in the description below so you won't have to go too far. Oh, you can check it out on my Instagram. But like I said, none of these are really slated just yet. But if they are up, if they go up, sure, I will put them down in the description below. So I know a lot of you came for this. The DC Multiverse line, yes, is alive and thriving. At this point, they brought out Jim Fletcher, the one, the only Jim Fletcher. This guy has been just a, a staple in everything DC for years now. He's an awesome guy. It was awesome to see him again. And he just has so much passion, so much heart. Uh, for any everything DC Comics. The guy is a madman in the best of ways, and that's who you want uh, working on your toys, just FYI. So, first and foremost, <laughs> just, just get ready for this. So, coming this fall, of which we already know, we have the combination fusion Batman from Superman World's Finest. We have Batman 66, which there will be a black and white variant. Again, you can go and watch my McFarlane event video. You'll see all of that more in detail. DC Rebirth Cyborg. He looks amazing. That looks really darn good. Even though I'm not a huge... Like, to me, I didn't even think twice. I thought, okay, that's just Cyborg. It wasn't like the giant Flashpoint Cyborg, which... 
I did like for that storyline, sure. But this one is more in line with, yes, that just looks like Cyborg. Then you have the Batman Reborn, which is Dick Grayson. He comes with these Batman electrocutioner kind of punchy things. And then you have a modern-ish Red Hood, which a lot of people are stoked on. I know. I heard all the comments. It doesn't do a thing for me. (laughs) I like the very first Red Hood with the guns, everything else that they've done. I'm like, oh, my God, no. It's just, it's not for me. The design just isn't there. Todd did briefly go over the Batman 66 figure. He used that as reference, talking about the cloth capes with the bendy wire and how he does think about it in terms of how he draws and who else would know a cape better than Todd McFarlane. I think we can all give him that. But in kind of posing it around, he's talking about, you know, photography or just really getting a dramatic pose on your shelf. And I agree. Not all the wired bendy capes are that great just yet. Most are pretty good. But yeah, I like that they're giving them cloth capes, but I do like that they kind of go back and forth. I think that there's a nice balance between the two. Now, this was kind of funny. They revealed this and they go, here, seven inch action figures, fall 2024. This is going to be in the same vein as the Platinum Edition, but the Platinum Editions like Sportsmaster, Manhunter, and the Reverse Flash, they're going to do it again. I did talk with the team about this. I said, you know, Manhunter, and they go, well, let me just stop you. We know. We know we've heard it. We're, we've heard it over and over. And I go, well, then you got to stop doing it because the fans want to army build this stuff. So they know, they are aware. So if they continue to do it, it's on them at this point. We've told them. Everybody was there going, hey, you know, maybe this ain't a great idea. But then they did it again. (laughs) So yes, we will be getting Effigy, The Question, and Shining Knight, of which during the panel, I went, ah, and (laughs) you could hear on the live stream, Brian goes, I guess Toys is uh, not too happy about this one. It's just... It's a matter of being frustrating because, yes, you are forced to go and look. And you don't always find him. I'm still looking for that dang red Superman. I'm still looking for it. It still hasn't been found. But I did manage to find all the other Platinum Editions. So I got lucky this time around. If I'm being honest, Effigy and this Shining Knight, sure, those are definite Platinums. If I find them, I find them. But... (laughs) characters like the question that's the one where i go everybody's gonna want the question that one is it's without a question right so you gotta want old questions so yes it's frustrating retailers love it you know why they love it because it brings people to their store so if you do find it chances are you might also buy a bag of chips you might need to buy a new bath rug maybe some light bulbs That's how they get them in. So retailers love these Platinum Editions because it keeps crazy people like all of us here constantly going in the store and looking for them. So just keep that in mind. No, it's not going to stop. A lot of people, they always like to comment. They go, why can't stores stop exclusives? If we stop, like here, here's here's the explanation going forward. If I see this again, I'm just going to be like, come on. Store exclusives keep every single toy line in as we're talking about toys keep toy lines fresh it keeps retailers interested in carrying these figures it's integral you need to do it whether or not you like it or not and sometimes we don't because distribution is what it is but it's integral to keep a line going and without it the lines will cease and they'll cease a lot sooner than you like it lines that go for years and years multiple stores exclusives, multiple this, multiple that. That's how a line goes. So now you know, and now you don't ever have to comment that again. Please, for the love of God. (laughs) Next up, we have a vehicle. Now, these are sold separately, just FYI. I did put on my Instagram, I said, well, it wasn't very clear. Some of the things they had said, or as I'm typing and posting things, it didn't make a whole lot of sense, but lo and behold, right on the image, it says figure sold separately. So, Vehicle and figure sold separately. So if you really want to soup up your modernish red hood, you can get this modernish red motorcycle. He likes to accessorize much like Batman. This, again, in totality, doesn't do much for me. Uh, I'm just not a fan. Uh, the bike is cool, 
And I mean, specifically it's for Red Hood. So yeah, it doesn't, doesn't do much, but Hey, you know, maybe we'll float your boats. They did show the Batmobile for Batman forever. And I do have a video up on my Instagram. I'll put it in here. You can kind of see it as we go. It has a button on it. It will make the Batmobile light up. Now, there are some people out there, and I'm in agreement with you. The colors, it's more of a green where it it it, it, it's, it is green. It's a bluish kind of green when you kind of see it in person, but I wouldn't say that it exactly matches what's in the movie. It's close, but I do kind of see the movie as being more on the bluer end of things than green. So you push the button, it lights up, push it again, kind of flashes. Todd had a great time showing that off. It has a huge fin to it. And yes, it just perfectly encapsulates Batman Forever, which, yeah, I can honestly say at this point, that one's just the most fun. It had the great soundtrack. It had the glasses from McDonald's. The toys weren't that great, let's be honest with you. But they had Nicole Kidman in it. I mean, everything was a win-win situation. Plus, you had Val Kilmer as Batman. Come on. But the good news is, is that Alfred will be packaged with this Batman Forever Batmobile. Of course, this Alfred being Michael Gow, of which he was in, and pretty much the most consistent part of the four original Batman films. Now, do keep in mind, this image is just to show that he was with the first Batman, you have Val Kilmer, and you have George Clooney, all right? So it's not a multi-pack. It's just showing you that, yes, he was there from the beginning, from Michael Keaton, and throughout the rest. So you have Alfred. He looks great. It's that suited body. It fits really well with the Batmobile. Again, it's one of those figures, like Todd even mentioned, that, yes, I think Alfred would sell, but he also might be one of those characters that doesn't sell very well. So to put him with the Batmobile, yeah, I agree. I think that that's probably the better way to go. This one, though, I have to say, came out of left field, but in a good way. They're going to be making a 7-inch Joaquin Phoenix Joker, also to kind of coincide with Joker 2, Fuali Adu, Harley Quinn, Lady Gaga. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Well, hopefully that movie's good. I like the first one. This is going to have multiple head portraits. You'll have three to choose from, which I think is pretty cool. The fact that they're doing it, I think that's going to make a lot of people happy. They also showed that they're going to have multiple characters made, like Murphy Franklin, the Robert De Niro character from the first movie, and there will be a playset. So all of these will be coming out in around fall 2024. Nothing really cemented in exactly how these will be released. So Look for more details. Everything is kind of in the works, they always say, if they don't tell you exactly. If it's kind of vague, it means they're still waiting to find out more details and they will let us all know when they have them. But for those of you who are Joker fans, I think that's pretty cool. I like the playset idea. I think that's awesome. We'll see if Joaquin Phoenix comes with a gun or not. That's all kinds of garish, but you know. That's what people want to see with their Joker action figures. Moving on, we have new McFarlane Collector Edition figures. Batman from The Dark Knight Returns, Green Lantern, and The Huntress. And I think that these are a great example of a collector's edition because I, they're going to be loading up the box. And they said that they're going to be getting rid of the card stand. So we did it collectively as collectors we got rid of the card stand. So that means more room in the box for accessories and plasticky pieces like we all like. Huntress looks pretty cool. You have, and keep in mind, there will be platinum editions for each of these characters. The platinum edition for the Green Lantern will be kind of a split amongst all these heads. So while you will have Arcus Chumuk and you'll have Tomar Ray, and then the other characters' heads will come with those. So you'll have two separate Green Lantern releases, one of them being the Platinum, but you'll get multiple head portraits. So essentially, though, if you get four of them, you have four new Green Lantern characters. So that's how they're getting you on that one. And I have to say, I have better photos and everything else over on my video of the event, but The Dark Knight Returns Batman looks pretty stellar. He does not have a cloth cape, just FYI, it is plastic. The head portraits... 
the beat up nature. Everything largely looks pretty cool. Hopefully they paint the Batarangs. That's the one hand. That's the alternate hand that's holding all four of them. And he does come with the lamppost from the Dark Knight Returns comic book. So yes, like I said, they're getting rid of the card stand and putting actual accessories in the box, which, hey, that's a collector's line. Go figure, right? And I honestly don't know this, but if I had to make a guess for the Dark Knight Returns, Perhaps it would be the black and gray, maybe something like that. It remains to be seen. And then for Huntress, perhaps uh, maybe the old school 90s costume, maybe something like that, which if that's the case, that's the one that I would definitely gravitate more towards. But like I said, Tomar Ray with Abin Sur. Sure, that looks pretty cool. You got the little blast effect from the ring. I like that. That's what I want to see. So overall, very happy for these collector's editions. I'm going to be stoked to finally get those. And yes, oh man, I'm probably going to have to get four of those Green Lanterns if I see them in store. Next up, we have a new wave of the Target exclusive Batman the Animated Series line. They are going a little bit more Kenner this time, which I think is pretty darn cool. We have the Lightning Strike Batman, of which... We all remember that costume combo. And in all honesty, I would like to see more of that. If you have to put a Batman in every wave, that's how you get me. I think that that's pretty cool. Although, please, please, and I told him, please change the head portrait or do something different. Also with the caves, because it's it's just, it needs to be changed. It's janky. They're all janky. Batgirl. Christmas with the Joker, Joker, and Harvey Dent, Two-Face. So if you get all of these, all four of them, and yes, there will be a platinum variant for one of these. See if you can guess it. Honestly, they didn't tell me, so I don't know just yet. It usually is Batgirl. Maybe it'll be Batman this time. Maybe they'll they'll kind of change it up. Maybe it'll be a different Kenner variant, something like that. But Maxi Zeus will be the Build-A-Figure. And for that alone... Right, Fire from Olympus, that looks really cool. No word if he comes with any accessories just yet. Hopefully, maybe some swappable hands, but the fact that we're getting Maxi Zeus, hopefully, hopefully he comes with his lightning bolts uh, weapon. That would be awesome. But like I said, it remains to be seen if he comes with any accessories, but he looks pretty darn cool. They will also be reissuing <laughs> the Batwing which is giant. I have the Batmobile. Don't worry. I've kind of taken the week off for San Diego, like all this toy nonsense. I'm just kind of finishing up my San Diego Comic-Con coverage. But there, yeah, I have the Batmobile. We will be looking at some Batman animated this week, including the old man, Bruce Wayne. This is giant. This is not just something you put in your toy room. Just FYI. They will be continuing on with the new Batman adventures. They didn't show anything new, but there are... A ton coming for Batman the Animated Series and TNBA. I can tell you that. I asked at the event. They have so much planned. Now, this was revealed at the McFarlane Toys event. That was, again, prior to the panel. We're going to be getting from the new Batman Adventures, the reissue of the Legends of the Dark Knight 3-pack. This will hit Best Buy exclusively. Pre-orders are set to launch on July 31st. So if you want it, Best Buy will have it exclusively. Again, it's a 3-pack. comes with... Batman, as voiced by Michael Ironside, which was just so rad. You have Kerry Kelly and the very nippled mutant leader, various accessories, hand swap outs. You get the idea. But yeah, that looks pretty cool. Again, if, if Best Buy is the place to be, Best Buy is the place to be. But again, if you want it, July 31st, the pre-orders will go alive. Also, just to kind of harken back to... The, the Platinum Editions, there will be some more coming. These were shown at the event. Again, go watch the video. But there will be a Hugo Strange, which looks amazing. Like, that is straight from the art. The head portrait alone is amazing. Again, the only downside is it's a Platinum Edition variant that you're going to have to find it somehow, some way, as well as Hugo Strange in that whole platinum scenario. There will also be the bullseye Batman. It will be an all white Batman has a big bullseye, black trunks, a little bit of black here on the mask and such some accessories. Don't go out of your way to, to you know, flatline yourself trying to look for this one. But the Hugo Strange, I might do that because that one is definitely on my radar. So if you want them, 
yeah, these will be coming out uh, fairly shortly by the end of the year. They did listen to a ton of you saying that you want merch. You want to see and represent McFarlane Toys in various t-shirts and whatnot so they got some superpowers coming they also talked about the kickstarter crowdfunder kind of thing for the superpowers it's kind of falling behind a little bit but yeah that's one of those things where i would love to have those and i did fund it but yeah we'll see how it kind of goes but it's several vehicles and some new uh, superpowers figures they did briefly touch on spawn they don't really have that much coming out unfortunately they have that gorgeous statue it's very pricey it's about five hundred dollars and then they also have teamed up with call of duties for some seven inch spawn figures i did get to play around with the spawn figures they felt pretty good there again more of what we've seen before they've changed a few things this spawn the one with the red cape actually has a wired cape it was just a prototype so they hadn't figured it out just yet i hope that they kind of add to it it was from the prototype it needs to be kind of fiddled with a little bit more but a wired cape for spawn yeah that's uh, definitely right up my alley and then you also had the tactical spawn so multiple guns things like that those will all be a coming soon but Fall 2024 for Spawn, it's a little bit light, but I think that most of you out there, if you need a good Spawn, Spawn, that kind of makes sense for me at least in terms of having a giant wired cape or guns and all that. That's that's really what I want to see. And that basically wrapped it up. That was it. That was all the reveals. They had quite a few. I know, again, a lot of you came here for DC Multiverse, but I appreciate you all watching and I had a great time covering Comic-Con this year. I got to see so many awesome faces. I got to meet a ton of new people. But overall, let's say this. For McFarlane Toys, there is a lot of great stuff that they are doing. Let's be honest. There are some things where they're trying it out. I think that it's good to try it out. But with the whole Platinum Edition, I'll say it. You know, It's not like, oh, I'm going to stop collecting them. It's just not fun. And I'll say that over and over. It's not fun to have to in this day and age, trying to track these things down. But for the character selection, for what they're putting out, yes, those are fun. And when you finally do get them, you are having fun on your shelf, especially when you have them all together. So keep your chins up. Keep as best as you can a positive foot forward, and we'll see how everything kind of goes in the next couple months. So you've heard my thoughts, and now I'm curious to know yours. Comment below, let me know. Let's talk everything McFarland Toys. And I'm going to leave you guys with that. As always, drink some great coffee, eat some great food. But most importantly, remember, when it comes to action figures, the most important thing to remember every single time is that if you're not having fun, stop, pivot, and move on to something else. It's all about the fun. Have fun with what you're doing. Have fun with what you're collecting. And when you do, let me know what you found. I'll talk to you guys soon. Adios. Ah, bonus action for all of you who are paying attention and maybe you're wondering why there's extra time at the end of this video. So we got a little end credits surprise. There will be an upcoming Batman Beyond gold label. This will be going to Target. It will be part of a special end cap coming, much like Alfred kind of sort of last year. We will get Terry McGinnis as a Batman Beyond, multiple hands. You got the Batarang, you got the stand, you got a card, and you have the big old red wings. So stay tuned for more info on that. But yes, this will be part of the fall collection at Target. Also, we're going to be getting more new adventures of Batman action figures mixed with Batman 66. So you have a red and black costumed Batman 66. We have Batgirl, which looks great. Basically the same one. I believe there's some paint changes on her. You also have a Wonder Woman coming, which I think that she looks really good. I'm actually stoked for her. And then you have a Joker, and I believe that's his laughing gas. A lot of these from the comic book. So I think he, he's got the, the red mask, the red and orange suits, and that is a gas a uh, canister shooter loader, very Kenner-ish looking, but is stoked on that. And then coming to the DC multiverse, we have a Damian Wayne Robin, which 
I'm not a huge fan of Damian Wayne, but I think that this figure looks really good. I think they did a great job. If it comes out looking as good as it does here on the shelf, yeah, definitely count me in. The reds, the greens, the face portraits. Also, he has a wired cape. So stay tuned for more information regarding Damian Wayne as well as Slade Wilson Deathstroke. And yes, he will have a mask. That is something that he will be packaged with. Multiple accessories, knives, weapons. You get the idea. I like the face portrait on that as well. So Damian Wayne and Slade Wilson Deathstroke will be coming soon to the DC Multiverse Page Punchers line. Then from Spawn, Rat City, they showed off the Deviant figure. This was a prototype, especially in the paint, so keep that in mind. It was something that they had made specifically to show at the show, so don't get too hung up on all that. So it will look really good once it's packaged up and ready to go for you to purchase, but I like the design. I haven't read Rat City just yet, but it does look pretty cool, and I like the way that this action figure looks. So when it comes out, this is a bigger type prototype. They should have the usual 7-inch, but they may go as big as a 12-inch figure. So it's kind of up in the air, but yes, either way, a deviant spawn from Rat City is on its way. And that really does officially wrap it all up. So thank you very much for watching. I'll talk to you guys soon. Adios.